Content marketing is competitive, but there's a certain type of content that works extremely well. Do you want to know what it is? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and you need to learn how to write this type of content right now. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So what's the type of content that you need to learn to write? It's actually long form content that is data oriented. I'm not talking about long form content. I'm talking about long form content that is data oriented. And I'll go into that in depth in a little bit and I'll give you some stats before we dive right in. So a study conducted by Backlinko found that the average page on Google that ranks on the first page contains 1,447 words. Now, this doesn't mean that your article needs to contain 1,447 words or longer to rank. He was just saying that's the average. If you're trying to rank for how to tie a tie, no one wants to read 1,447 words. If you want to rank for uh, the biography of Abraham Lincoln, 1,447 words is not enough either. So you need to think about the topic, who else ranks, and that'll give you a good sense on the length of your article. Here's another interesting fact. Websites with above average time on site tend to also rank higher on Google. Typically, if you have more words on your page, you tend to get a better average time on site. Now, according to our own data from neilpatel.com, we're seeing long form content with stats and data generating almost three times more backlinks, which helps our overall site's rankings. Now, when we don't include data, we're not getting as many backlinks which is why I said long form content with data is roughly generating three times roughly more backlinks than content without data. But here's what's even more interesting, right? Everyone believes that if you have long form content and you're generating more backlinks that you're just gonna get tons of traffic. What most people don't realize is the long form content that's super in depth that has all that stats and data that generates a lot of links doesn't always generate a lot of search volume. A lot of times people are searching for stuff like, how do I get my dog to lose weight? How do I, what is SEO? How does SEO work? What does SEO mean? That's kind of like the basic stuff, but that's actually what generates a lot of the search volume when people search. What's a low interest rate credit card? But that's not really the stuff that generates the backlinks. So if you write long form content with tons of data and stats in there, you'll get the links, which will cause the rest of your site to rank higher. So how do you write this kind of content? Well, first off, you need to research your competitors. You can go into Uber Suggest, you can type in competitor URLs and look at the top pages. This will show you their most popular pages by traffic and backlinks. And it even shows you the people who link to those pages, so now you can hit them up. Because if someone links your competitors and you hit them up, the chances are they'll link to you as well. For some weird reason, a lot of webmasters and site owners try to reach out to people that don't ever link to their competitors. If no one links to anyone in your space, you probably don't know it, they're probably not willing to link out, it's gonna be a much harder time to get those links. I also want you to check out your competitors' topics. So within Ubersess, you can put in your competitor URLs and see all the keywords that they rank for. This will show you the topics that they're going after. And this will give you ideas of some of the keywords that you should consider going after. And if you take those keywords and put it into the keyword ideas list within Ubersuggest in that report, It'll show you other related keywords, more long tail ones that you could potentially go after and they'll tell you which ones are easy to rank and hard to rank for for your website. Now, once you have idea of keywords, I want you to make an outline covering everything that's relevant to that topic, right? What I mean is if I'm writing a article on SEO, I would wanna cover site speed, meta tags, on-page SEO, broken links, uh, backlink building. I wanna talk about writing content, promoting it on social media, interlinking, robots.txt uh, files, Google Search Console, you wanna go super in-depth. Because the more in-depth you go, just think Wikipedia, the more likely are you are to rank. And then I want you to add stats and data and research, even videos and image content. If you can't find them, go check out places like Google Scholar where sometimes you can find a lot of interesting stats or data, or you can Google and find them, and make sure you link out to those resources where you pull the stats and data from, or you can pay a researcher on Upworker or Fiverr. And when you're writing content, you wanna make sure it delivers the need for the searcher. Anyone can create content around a topic, but if your content solves the problem for the searcher, be like, huh, 
I just read Neil's site and I got everything I needed. Where I don't even need to click the back button and go find other content on that. And when you do that, that's the type of content that's gonna rank higher. But keep in mind, when you include stats and data, it also pushes you as an expert. Remember, Google has this thing called E, expertise, authority, trust. By showing your expertise, authority, and trust, you're more likely to rank better, which will then get you more traffic because Google doesn't want people like me, Neil Patel, to write articles about cancer. What expert am I? I'm not even a doctor. That could actually be misleading and cause inaccurate information to be ranked on Google and hurt other people in their lives or their health or their money or their wealth. So that way Google wants to rank articles from experts. And by doing this, it also makes you an expert, which helps increase your rankings in the long run. If you need help with this, check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we do this for companies. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell people about it. If you have any questions related to the article, leave a comment below and I'm here to answer it.